Uh, right, folks. I am going to do another little driving video. This seems to be quite popular with you people out there. And um, today, I'm going to start in sight and I'm going to work my way into Leicester. I hope you enjoy it. I've turned the radio off. I'll turn that round so I can set it up. Now then, it's back on my camera again, folks. So you just got to bear with. There's Doris going by. Don't know who Doris is. So anyway, folks, I'm in the little uh, little village of Syston. You're going to have to bear with. If this um, video thing uh, keeps going well, I want to try and get a GoPro or something that sticks to the camera. Uh, sticks to the camera. Sticks to the uh, windscreen. Right. I don't know the name of this road. Oh, it's Bath Street. Seen it. Um, there's Maxim's Chinese restaurant over there that you can't see because you're looking out the wrong way. And um, I don't really know a lot about Syston. Uh, they've got a Syston and District Conservative Working Men's, uh, Syston and District Conservative Club somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it is, I've heard of it. But, um, <coughs> so, just driving down whatever this is, road is called, I don't know, Chapel Street there. There's free parking down there. <coughs> Going past the uh, Methodist Church Centre on the left hand side. Uh, I'll try and describe as much as I can so the visually impaired uh, who are watching this or listening to this will uh, understand. On the right hand side over here um, is the beer pharmacy. Uh, that I absolutely love in there. I've not been in there for a while, but I love it in there. It's really, really good. So I've got it. Me and June have got to get over there. Um, this here, here, is one of the worst islands ever in Leicestershire, probably the country. There used to be a clock tower here, uh, but it just doesn't see. How uh, there's never any more accidents there, I do not know. It's a complete joke. And uh, here we go. So going, I think this is probably something like the High Street in Syston. Uh, you've got your charity shops, you've got your Greggs, you've got your necessities like Wilco's, you've got the banks. Uh, you've got a couple of chip shops down here. Uh, free parking on the left hand side, short stay parking. Which is all handy, I can normally get the van in there. And... Um, That's it, you're on the mints, you're on the mints and the sweets and everything, so that's it folks, we're there. We're there now. So, Tesco's on the left hand side, next door to an Aldi. Uh, 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 now then folks, um, I used to drive into Leicester quite a lot when I used to fit the double glazing with my father and um, Spice of India, I've heard that's quite a good restaurant and um, although I do mow my way into Leicester they're always changing the roads and on my last video in Loughborough I actually got into the wrong lane uh, and somebody picked up but I did notice that there was nobody turning straight on so I could nip him um, So we've got a train station up here. There's a pub on the left hand side. I think it's called the Railway. Uh, I went in there many years ago, many, many years ago, uh, after playing, uh, well I didn't play, I watched a game of football. Uh, I don't know what it's like now. There it is folks, you can see. <coughs> the Midland Railway. So as uh, we are leaving Th uh, Syston, we're making our way to uh, Thermiston and um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about this place to be fair. It's just a road from Syston to Leicester. Oh, I think this is called Melton Road. <coughs> yes folks, I have got a bit of a cough. I don't know where it's come from. So you can turn left to this island, you've got Barbie and BB, or we're going straight on to Thermiston. So 
some nice big houses on the right hand side. One of these button islands. I tell you what, you come around this island and you always seem nearly always, not always obviously, I think I'm exaggerating there. Um, there's, there's a car that goes around it too fast, clips the curb and like pushes the wheel out. So. I think there's quite a lot of money in this uh, part of uh, the city. Oliver Close, that looks quite a big rich area. Uh, Simpson Close on the right hand side, that's another big area of... Uh, like I've said before in one of my other videos, is either a lot of debt or a lot of money. The Round Hill Academy on the left hand side, um, never been to that one, never known of it. Sometimes, when I used to be at school, we used to have sports days and stuff where you would travel to other co uh, other countries, uh, other schools and uh, participate in the uh, events, um, but never went to that one. Uh, Syston Car Wash, uh, Syston Hand Car Wash on the right hand side. I don't know what, uh, if they're any good or not. There's an industrial estate on the right hand side and we used to play indoor cricket many years ago. Uh, that was really, really good. I'm surprised that didn't take off. We used to play uh, cricket and there used to be a bloke called Dave Smith and he was an excellent cricketer. Uh, but when you play indoor cricket, you can actually get caught off the nets at the side of the, the wicket. And uh, they'd be bowling to Dave and Dave would be playing absolutely brilliant shots if it was actually on a cricket pitch. But he couldn't seem to work out to keep the ball down. So, uh, there you go. Uh, so, we've got Thermiston Village Centre on the right hand side, but I'm going to go straight on uh, down Melton Road and um, just describe it. We've got McDonald's and stuff on the left hand side. A big fuck off Asda. That's when I take June up the Asda when we go to that one. Um, that's quite a sight over the frozen veg. <sighs> Leicester's only four mile away now, so uh, just taking me time. I've got uh, the 50 mile an hour speed limit. I'm doing a steady forte. Um, Thermiston Bowls Club on the left hand side. I think Thermiston Football Clubs, we only ever played once there, uh, Thermiston, when they first came up into the uh, Senior League in Leicestershire. Further visually impaired, I'm just driving, uh, driving down the dual carriageway. Uh, it's uh, heading towards Troon Way, uh, the Indi industrial estate and business park, Troon Way. Right, I'm slowing back down now to 40 mph, I'm down at 35. I would have had the radio on. I normally listen to the Emma Barnett show, but I'm fed up to the back teeth with bloody politics and shit, to be fair. It's absolutely doing me head in. I'll say this, they're all a bunch of fucking idiots. So on the left hand side over there, we've got a selection of shops of hairdressers, hairdressers, another hairdresser, uh, a bookmakers and a place that sells bikes. Oh, we've got a post office as well. Um, yeah, there you go. Now, when we go down this past these, when these lights start again, I think there's a, a restaurant called uh, Taste India or Feast India or something. And I keep meaning to take June there um, because I really do love Indian food. I absolutely love it. Pumberston Lane on the left hand side. We worked there, me and my dad fitted some windows up there once and uh, the house next door had a chip pan fire. Yeah. <coughs> that was amazing, quite funny. You just, you know, 
can you move your van? Can you do all this? Yes, yes, we'll help, we'll help. Just, yeah, just what do you want us to do? Kind of thing. Hey, oh, somebody's going to have a bad Christmas. Oh, have you ever had it when, uh, I've got a relative, Auntie Shell, God bless her, uh, sister-in-law Shell. Sees an ambulance. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, that's it, you know. Right. The world's ending because there's an ambulance gone by. Now then, uh, Sainsbury's on the left-hand side. That's a big, massive Sainsbury's. And uh, I think I've only ever been in there once. But there's just something about Sainsbury's I can't seem to get along with. It's, um, I don't know. I think it's the orange. I don't like the orange. The orange colour of Sainsbury's. It doesn't appeal to my eye uh, kind of thing. Now then, up here, now we've got a bus lane up here, and I can't remember if it's bus lane, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just move over, there's nothing behind me. Uh, I don't know whether it's a bus lane 24-7, as George Michael said, or if it's a bus lane just for a certain amount of time during the day. And um, there it is, Feast India on the left hand side, Feast India, so uh, I think I might have to give that a go one day. Uh, well, I don't think they just do Indian food, they do everything. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, bus lanes. This one goes into Loughborough uh, on the A6 before the grammar school. And it's from, I think it's 7 till 9, Monday to Friday. And the amount of people that sit in the outside lane after 9 o'clock and on a Saturday and Sunday because they've not actually read the signals is absolutely ridiculous. You know, they're sitting there, they're tootling along at like 25 mile an hour when it's a dual carriageway that's 50. And they're sitting in the outside lane and they think like, and then you go by them and they look at you and you think, read the signs, just read the bloody signs. You know, you would actually have failed or got points against you for your driving test for being a dullard. So folks, this is where we're entering to the Asian community of Leicester. Um, Leicester has a massive Asian uni uh, community, I'll say that again, Asian community. This is where I come down and buy all my little uh, Indian uh, knick-knack foods and stuff. And um, I do like coming down here and getting all this stuff. They've got some really good uh, little like sweet shops, savoury shops and all that kind of stuff and um, <coughs> if you've got them in other parts of the country, these kind of shops, you really have got to go and uh, get them. They're not like your Indian food from um, Tesco's or Asda or something like that. They are so, so much better. Um, I was a bit stuck in two minds then mate to let you in or out but sorry. Yeah, they just do so much of this Indian food. I tell you what, it's a good job I don't live closer. Or else I would be a right big, big boy. God, the amount of time you must spend of your life sitting at bloody traffic lights. Why don't they just build a big flyover bridge? Brilliant. Just fly over it. Uh. Asian Funeral Company over here on the left hand side. <sighs> cake Box. Now that's an egg free cake place. They've got one in Loughborough. I did a review on them and they were really, really good. So what do you think, folks? Uh, this is Melton Road in uh, Leicester. And, um, yeah. A lot of discount shops, that kind of stuff. Um, Indian Rooster. <coughs> it's all right, folks, I've seen it. I've seen the red lights changing. Truth, mate, how white are your trainers? They are dazzling. I'll have to put my sunglasses on. They are the whitest trainers I've ever seen. Uh, got 
the old cinema or whatever it is on the right hand side, I don't know whether it's a cinema or what looks like an old classic building, um, Coliseum, shopping mall, exhibition mall, looks like it's shut, it is shut, looks like it's being done up, Tesco's on the left hand side, they're like dog shit in the Tesco's all over the place. <coughs> So this is where I get most of my food from down here on the left hand side, they're really good. Um, yeah, just try them folks, just try these Indian little Indian places, they're absolutely brilliant. Oh right, I'll just flash you to let you come and it's a one way street, well done. Oh, ambulance on the left hand side, look, hazard lights flashing as the uh, Toyota Avensis has seen it, it don't look like it, they'll probably get all the way up there, pull up behind it and think it's a red light. Stopped at the lights. <sighs> On the move again. There's lots of nice little restaurants around here. Uh, Chaiwala. Chaiwala. Yeah, like I told you, didn't I? Told you, didn't see it. Absolutely blind to it. Miracle that you can't, you know. Well, as though there was another car in front of you. As you can see, they've got the decorations up, folks. Um, <coughs> these decorations go up. I know it was a gamble, I'm a gambler, but I was only doing 22. So I was okay. Um, the, down this road, they actually have Diwali night uh, in November time. Uh, and I meant to come on Diwali night. I wanted to video it. Uh, but I got my bloody dates all mixed up and um, totally fucked it up. Right, well, you've done well there, ain't you? If I was a snowplow, I could have gone straight through you. Don't, you don't even apologise. Don't even apologise for being a prick. Unbelievable. Um, Yeah, they do Diwali night, and I really meant to come and do it, but I was at work, and I got all my dates mixed up and everything. Um, so perhaps next year I might come down. Somebody, uh, I might be able to hook up with somebody, and uh, they might uh, look after me. Not look after me, because I don't need looking after. Um, but, um, you know, uh, just somebody to guide me through uh, where I'm going. This used to be a massive flyover here, and uh, I think they must, well they did, they ripped it down. I don't know why they ripped it down, I think it was probably falling down, so uh, they decided to take it down. I'll tell you what, traffic's quiet. I'm looking in my mirrors and there's nobody around me and nothing. Absolutely unbelievable. Now then, I think what I might do, normally folks, I would, I don't know whether I can go straight on it. Yes, I can go straight on. Um, I'm going to go straight on here. Uh, no traffic around me, I'm okay. I'm go straight on. Because up here is the um, uh, Market, but obviously I can't get in the hay market because when they make these car parks they only made them for dinky toys and not vans so I'm just going to go down here this goes into the uh, to <coughs> towards the uh, town centre folks and um, well, that's a big restaurant look shish cav Place there, Kingstone. Don't know what they do. Some kind of furniture shop, uh, Royal Oak. On the right hand side. Alright, now where do I go? I can turn right here. 
here. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, so up there, folks, is the um, town centre. Um, I will be popping in there in a bit and uh, doing a few bits and bobs that I've got to do. And um, I don't know, you can't actually drive up there anymore unless you're picking up or something. And uh, I don't want to uh, go up there and do something wrong and have it haul on video where I've done something wrong. Uh, but I can turn right here uh, and then I will work my way into the new uh, high cost shopping centre. Oh, my battery's running flat. Unbelievable. Fortunately, I've bought my other battery, so. Uh... Like I said, I must spend most of my life just sitting at bloody traffic lights. It's absolutely unbelievable. Oh, it's not one of those stupid lights that lets the other one go, is it? No. Um, I think there's a, a nightclub around here called the Fan Club. Uh, apparently it was the place to go. Might still be the place to go for all I know. Uh, yeah, the Fan Club. I think it does more independent music and it's not so... Um, you know, where people just go who just want to pose and stuff, you know, stand there with a half a lager in the hand all night, uh, making out they look really good, when they don't look really good, they look anything but really good. Right folks, I don't know how long this battery is going to go. If the battery runs out, I do apologise. <whistles> Frankie and Co, what do they do? They can see burgers and stuff. A lot of traffic now, obviously. Uh, I just said there weren't no traffic, but now all of a sudden there is. <coughs> oh, right, and we're off again. We're off again. So, now, we're on the uh, A594. Uh, um, I want to just swap into this other lane because I want to uh, turn right up here and get into the high-cost uh, shopping car park. Uh, obviously, it's not really called high cost. It's called high cross. Uh, I just call it high cost because it costs a complete fortune to park there. Uh, it's an absolute joke. You know, I suppose they've got to pay for it somehow. I wonder when they make the money that pays all this off. Uh, if they're going to turn around and say, right, everybody can have free parking for a week or something just as a thank you for paying to... Um, just for paying to uh, make it is what it is. It is what it is. There are more, more bloody lights. More bloody traffic lights. Take this nice and wide because some people do tend to just cut across there and then chop the other car up that's in the uh, in the thingy lane. Right, window down, preparing myself. Now you will hear a clunk in a minute, folks. It's not the roof of the van; it is the actual uh, aerial of my van. Uh, there it goes, catching the. Uh, turn some lights on so uh, people can see me. One ticket. Uh, 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 make sure there's nothing coming up on the inside. Right. Now then, I normally park down here because uh, I don't want to take the van up the top there. But, uh, there doesn't seem to be any spaces. 
There's such and there's one there. I could have had that one. They just left. Uh, but uh, no, it looks like I'm going up. Oh, I don't want to go up. There's only down there. Looks like I'm going to have to go up, folks. Oh, there's one there, look. Oh, there ain't. There's a bloody mini. Bloody mini drivers. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go up. Nobody's going to let me out, look. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Right, I'm going to get this uh, straight here. Funny how they have these arrows, right, that tell you which way round to go a car park, and people still uh, tend to um, come down them the wrong way. Straighten up. Straighten up. Right, reversing up again. Right folks, so that was the uh, little drive into Leicester. Um, I am parked perfectly in the box. Uh, this great big uh, 4x4 parked next to me. Can you see the mirror? They're not. Right, I'm going to leave that there, folks. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll get you later. Later.